What is it that, that God has us here to do in the city? So I just kind of want to throw out a couple of ideas. Can you imagine a day? We, we all want to look forward to something, right? So some of you are looking forward to going home to your home country this summer. Some of you are looking forward to your next vacation, right? Some of you are looking forward to your next paycheck. Who's looking forward to their next paycheck, right? If you work for the American government, you are in really looking forward to your next paycheck, okay? We all look forward to something, but the things generally that we look forward to are really short term. And once we get them, they tend to just not last very long. What we as Christians look forward to is something greater, grander, and more glorious. And so I, I want to just paint a picture for you tonight of what we're looking forward to, what this church is looking forward to. Can you imagine a day in Taichung where this church, where TIF is known as the place where no matter your culture, this is the place where you're the most cared for and loved in the city. Where no matter your background, no matter your race, no matter your language, where you would know that if you came to this place, you would be welcomed and loved. It would be a picture of heaven. I actually feel like that's already a little bit of who we are. It's in our DNA. It's who God put us together to be. I would say it like this, that hope is found here because Jesus is here. What, doesn't that sound like a place you want to be? Hope is here because Jesus is here. Some of you have actually said that to me when you came here, that you felt like this was a place where you found a sense of hope and belonging. I want every person who walks through the doors, who actually it doesn't matter what door you walk through because we've been through several here, but when you come into this fellowship, you find hope. There's another idea. Can you imagine a day when this church, we're, we're an odd group of people. And I don't mean that in the sense that we're odd, but I mean it is odd to have people from almost every continent in the world represented. It is odd that we have so many different languages represented. It is odd that we have different ages and kind of uh, stages of life. You would never put this group of people together in any other place in the world. What if we were known as the most generous, giving group of people in the world, especially in this city? And I don't just mean financially, although I do mean that as part of it. What if we were known as the people who opened their pocketbooks, opened their hearts, opened their resources in such a way that it couldn't be matched? That's what I, I dream and I hope for for this church. Because Jesus is really glorified when we're most willing to give up that which we treasure the most. Here's how I would say it, that help is here because Jesus is here. You know, there's a lot of needs in this city and there's a lot of needs around the world. So how does Jesus choose to meet those needs? Oftentimes, it's through us. So help can be found here because of our generosity and our willingness to use the things that he's entrusted us with. Don't you want to be a part of something like that? Something bigger than just getting the next new phone or the next bigger apartment or the next whatever? Let's be a part of something greater. Church, yes? Yes. Can you imagine a day when there are Christians who say, we know Christ in part because of that little group of foreigners who meet over on Zio Road in this city? You see, we're going to be a church planting church. We just got planted ourselves, but we're going to be a church planting church. In this city, we're going to help plant another Taiwanese church to reach Taiwanese people who don't yet know Christ. We're going to hire a Taiwanese pastor and help him start a church to reach a group of Taiwanese who've not yet heard the gospel. And those people one day will be able to say, that group of foreigners from all over the world who could have only cared about their own people actually cared about us 
in such a way. They loved us with the love of Christ. They were willing to give in such a way that we could know Jesus. Do you want to be a part of something like that? I do. I want to be a part of something like that. And one more thing. Can you imagine a day where somewhere in the world, you know, there's several missionaries in this church. And you've probably heard some of the stories about missionaries and they go into those far, far away places in the world where, you know, people wear like loincloths and hunt with spears and stuff like that. Do you know those places still exist? Where people have never, ever had an opportunity to hold a Bible. Where the Bible is not even translated yet into their language. Would you like to be a part of sending someone to that place to translate the Bible, to tell them about Jesus for the first time? I want to be a part of that. And do you know that I'm praying and I want you to pray that God will call one of you young people, maybe? Maybe one of you old people to go and our church will be a part of sending them. Our church, TIF, We'll help pay for them to go. And while they're there, we'll go support them. We'll go care for them. We'll go encourage them. We'll be a part of the gospel message. Do you want to be a part of something like that? Uh, can I hear you? Do you want to be a part of something like that? Okay. Well, then, good. So do I. Then that's what we're going to do. That's the kind of church that TIF is going to be. So if you're with me, Let's do it. This isn't just talk, my friends. It's going to happen, and much of it will begin happening this year. So be here. Be a part. Give your resources. Give your time. Give your energy, and help us make it happen. With God's help, with God's leadership, I think by the end of this year, there's going to be some amazing things happen with just this crazy group of foreigners. All right?